Hello guys, welcome to the Debug Arena. In this video, I'm going to show you that how can you pass your form details to any mail ID using PHP Mailer in PHP. As all of you know that Google has removed the feature of less secured app. So there are many people who are facing the issue that how to use PHP Mailer now. As all the resources and all the videos on PHP Mailer are based on the feature of less secured app, but now it has been removed. So let me show you that how can you use PHP Mailer now. As you can see here, this is my UI and this is my basic code. This is my form and I will be sending these three details to my email. So first let me create an another PHP page, send mail.php. Now I will just receive the data that I am passing from there. And I will echo here all this detail, bind it here, save this, go here, refresh this, and let's see whether we are getting it or not. So when I click on submit now, you can see that I am getting the details. We are getting our data. Now let's integrate PHP Mailer in our website. So go to search for PHP Mailer, go to this GitHub link. This is the repository. Now here you have to download the zip file. So click on download. I had already downloaded it. You have to extract it. I will go here. Do downloads. So I had extracted it. Just copy this folder, PHP Mailer Master, and paste it in your website folder. So this is my folder. I pasted it here and change its name. Okay, first step is done. You can see here that uh, here it is PHP Mailer. So the next step is go to repository and you can see here all the steps are given here. So you have to come here a simple example and just copy all this and paste it here. Yeah, okay. Now just remove this. First, let me remove all the comments. You can also remove this. So the first thing is smtp.example.com. So you have to change it to gmail.com. This inside the username, you have to enter your email ID. This email ID will be used to send the uh, email. So enter the password. Okay, this step, this step is also done. You don't require all these things, just remove this. Just you can write here a name. So I will give Arena and inside add address, you can just remove the name and we have to add address to which we have to send this mail. So I will write this mail. Okay, so this is the mail which will send and this will the, this is the mail which will receive. So this step is done. Remove all this. Now here, I will create just a field name message and here I will just write the template. Okay, this is also done. Now just save it. And inside this body now we will send this message. Okay. And you can change the subject and all the other things according to your need. Okay, this step is done. Yeah, one more thing you have to import this require. We have to import these files. As you can see here, these files. So let me do this. Okay, so we are done. Now go here. Refresh this, continue. You can see here that we are getting could not instant mail function. Okay, okay. So I don't have to remove this line. Save this, come here again, submit this. And you can see here that we are getting mailer error SMTP could not authenticate. Message could not be sent. This is our error. So this is due to the less secured app. So let me show you that how can you solve this. 
so this is my mail which i am using to send the detail as you can see here other stack of 436 okay now i will click on manage your google account you have to go to security the first step is to enable the two step verification so come here i will just enable it do all the process it asked for so you can see here that i had turned on two step verification so our first step is done go back now in the second step now here you have to go to app password which is currently set to none okay now here you have to select app choose other inside other, other you can write anything i will just write test and i will click on generate you can see here the google will generate here the new password you have to just copy this password come to your code and you have to paste this password here inside of your password okay now just save it go here go back okay now when i click on submit you can see here that i am getting the message of message has been sent okay wait a minute let me remove this echo you can see here that we are receiving message has been sent now let's go to my account which is the debug arena let's see whether we have received or it or not yes you can see here that we had received the data you can see here that it is sent by others 438 kanjali and the name the debug arena email the debug arena okay slash n is not working so that's not the issue okay great it is working let me explain you one more time i just made the ui and this is my uh, php file where i am receiving the data first i have imported all these things here i have entered the mail id which i will be using to send the data here i had written the password you can see here that here this is the name and this is the mail id which will receive the data and this is my format slash n is not working but that's not the issue you can format is as you want you can change the subject and all of this thing so in this way you can easily send the form data to any mail id using php mailer that's it for this video and if you found this video helpful then please like share and subscribe thank you